Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ayush Srivastav and I will be talking about Hirayama disease in this video. Basically, it is a type of cervical myelopathy which is related to flexion. If you can see here in this image, there is some T2 called uh, hyperintensity in the cervical spine which is suggestive of uh, cervical myelopathy and on flexion, if you see there is this T2 hyper intense soft tissue you can see which is causing some mass effect on the spinal cord and it is pushing the cord anteriorly. The anterior epidural space which you can see here is effaced here. Now why does it occur? So the reason which Hirayama speculated was that there is disproportionate growth between the vertebral column and the contents of the spinal canal especially the dural sac okay so this is related kind of related to the growth spurt which occurs during adolescence and that is the reason why this is this condition is more common in adolescent males now here they have given an example you can see uh, muscle wasting in the upper limb especially the distal upper limb and there is some sparing of the brachioradialis muscle here so Hirayama disease is a type of cervical myelopathy mostly occurs in adolescent males and there is progressive atrophy and weakness of the dis distal upper limbs Now the distal upper limbs will have muscle wasting which is seen in our case which is this one you can see in the left hand uh, you can see some muscle wasting if you compare it to the right hand. In this article they have shown uh, they have told about the features of Hirayama disease. So they have told that the posterior epidural space become enlarged which is more prominent in flexion so this enlarged epidural space is seen as high signal intensity on t1 and t2 in the posterior epidural space and this thing causes uniform enhancement on post contrast images so here is a plain t2 sagittal sequence which shows this enlarged epidural space posteriorly there is effacement of the anterior epidural space there is this expansion of the posterior epidural space with some uh, heterogeneity which may be because of some flow voids and you can see some hyper intense signal in the cord also which is the myelopathy because of uh, compression on flexion. Now this posterior epidural space it will enhance on contrast. like this if you see this this whole enhancing thing this is abnormal so this more or less homogeneous post contrast enhancement along the posterior epidural space which is causing compression of the cervical cord in flexion same thing if we see in axial so at this level uh, we see this homogeneously enhancing uh, posterior epidural space and anterior shift of the spinal cord. So that was it.